Hello everybody, I come to you from my brand new studio in San Diego, California, which is just freaking fancy. Uh, I have an entire room now, and so you may hear a little bit of echo. I'm going to sound different, but um, I'm here to do what I colored in February. And I got seven things done, which again is pretty impressive considering I uh, just moved. So the first thing that I did was just some, sort of a fun thing that I started at... Uh, you know how you have those interim, oh, I've finished coloring really detailed things, but now I want to do something simple. I started that uh, at the end of January, and I finished it on uh, February 5th. It was just one of those quick things that uh, I, I took some Tombow markers and some polychromos, and then I painted out the background because I like the simple background instead of the kind of wallpaper background of this book called Pop Manga Mermaids by um, Camilla de Errico. So that was the first thing that I finished. The second thing that I finished was I was sort of thinking along the lines of my anniversary with my husband, which is February 10th, is our, our wedding anniversary. So I was kind of thinking, you know, romantic-y kind of things. And then, I mean, this technically looks like Icarus to me. Uh, if you ever played Kid Icarus, that, that kind of thing. But um, but he's also probably supposed to be Cupid. So I picked this out of one of the of the fairy tale book by Dada Mao, I believe, is who did it. And I got this last year for my birthday. Uh, so I figured I would color that. And um, it turned out okay. I, I don't like how much the Copic bled on it. I probably should have just scanned it. But I painted, uh, I painted this with distress paint, and then I think I spit on it, <laughs> and then I spit on it, uh, and I painted that with with distress paint, and then the rest was done with Copic markers and probably a little bit of pencil because I always I always tend to do that. Uh, the third thing is something I started on live stream over on Twitch, and my community picked out what they wanted me to color. And it happened to be this one that won out of the three images that I picked for them to vote on. So we did Copic markers and um, polychromos. And then what I did was I originally started with gel pen, but I didn't like how the gel pen was coming out in this blue color. So I ended up using paint instead. I used a lot of paint this month. It's kind of weird. But uh, yeah, I used, I used some... Uh, some paint to cover over the lines and kind of make it look like these were, you know, bubbles, but not really bubbles. And I finished that on February 11th. I, I usually write in the corner somewhere what, um, what day I finish things. And then I painted a frame so that you got a nice frame in there. And I actually used an inspiration color palette for this one because I wanted to keep it sort of pastel. I'm not really a pastel person, so it was kind of hard, but it was very interesting to try. And the next thing was another another thing voted on my, by my community. This is a book that was gifted to me, and um, the, so was Pop Manga Mermaids. It was gifted to me. This was a month of a lot of gifted books, but um, this was gifted to me by my friend Monica a couple years ago when it, just, when it came out. I got it for Christmas, and I finally I was like, you know what? It's time to color in it. So I, I, I was asked to color something that was in Color Morphia, so I went through and, and saw a flip through on Color Morphia and kind of picked out what what uh, what was in the other books that I had and this is what the community wanted. Them. I was like, do you want to see fish or do you want to see an elephant? And they said elephant. So they picked this out and so I finished this on um, 211. This was kind of funny because I did a lot of it on, on the stream and I kind of set it up so like if you wanted to see how to do it or finish it you you could and it wasn't very difficult but um, it took me a long time to do the foliage because I knew for sure that it looked better with a with the pencil shading on there but I was also kind of bored of doing it so it took me a long while of coming back to it and leaving it and coming back to it that kind of thing to actually get it done but I think it really turned out a lot better than if I had just left it with just the Copic marker base so this is Copic marker and pencil a polychromos pencil and um, some gel pen to block out the black lines of the clouds here so it just looks like super purple super purple and, and pinkish kind of thing so I wanted to keep a, a pretty simple color scheme so it really made the image pop and so you can see <laughs> sometimes I like seeing what, how things bleed through 
And the next thing that I finished was, uh, I believe, this one. So, yes, it was done on the 19th. Pretty sure this is what I finished. So this was another live stream that we did. I, uh, I ended up on stream, like I, I never actually plan things and sometimes things don't go perfectly. So I had actually, you know, messed around with the background, kind of decided what I wanted to do live and it didn't work out great. So I just, again, used paint. Pretty much like almost all of these has, have paint on them. So that's, that's a thing. Actually, all of them do. Every single one has some kind of paint so far. I think every, yeah, everything this month has some kind of paint. So craft paint, craft paint, distress paint, all that kind of thing. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, it didn't it didn't quite work out, but you know we make it work. We just kind of do it live and figure it out, and you know we never stress about that kind of thing. And that's that's one of the things I try and I try and hammer home on my live streams. It's just you know we're just having fun here, and if something that we try doesn't work out, we'll we'll try something else. So I got uh, the, obviously this was for the February fourteenth you know Valentine's Day kind of stream. I don't actually celebrate Valentine's Day because, like I said, my, my wedding anniversary is four days before that. So, usually celebrate that as the whole romantic and appreciating each other kind of thing. But um, I thought that this was a good image. This is from the Hatchet Heroes Lion King book. And uh, it was one of those ones that I, I, I bought um, because I hadn't had a Lion King book since I was a kid, since Lion King came out. So, I thought that, that would be fun to color. And, uh, and yeah, it, it really, it was interesting picking the colors and everything because I remember having them picked out uh, as a kid in crayons and knowing exactly the colors that I would use for the both of them. And so it was fun doing that with Copics instead. So this is Copic markers and, um, and polychromos as, as per usual, I guess. And then the, uh, the next two are from Worlds Within Worlds. This is the UK copy, which was released February 6th. I believe it was February 6th. Didn't get to me until till actually Valentine's Day. So there's that. And uh, so yeah, this was a gift. And I started two pages. This is the first one that I did on stream. And I actually ended up finished since this is a double page, uh, double page book, double sided book. Uh, we used Tampa markers and um, and paint. No, there's no paint. <gasps> there's no paint on this one. I mean, there's paint Posca pen, I guess that counts, but there's no paint on this one. <laughs> so we use Tombow, no, oh yes, there is, see? I was right, I knew it. I, uh, I painted in these mountains. One of my viewers suggested this, uh, this sunrise picture, and I thought it was really good, and I figured we would make a sunrise going because I didn't like the original sky that I was working with on the stream, and you know, I said, all right, what, what can we do? And my, uh, my viewer, Smooshy, she's just like, hey, what, what about this picture? And so I figured that I would mimic that sunrise over the mountains. So I painted in some mountains, gave it a background, and I think it came out really good. So this is Tombow markers, some paint, and some Pablo's pencils this time, because I like, I like how the Pablo's were working with the Tombow's and just in general the... Um, the texture of the, pa the paper, that kind of thing. And then the sky is uh, Neo Colors. So there's that. And then the very last one is the Echidna. I kind of started them at the same time, but I finished them in this order. So uh, I really saw this Echidna and I was like, oh, I want to color him. And then it reminded me, I don't know why necessarily, but it reminded me of Bryce Canyon National Park in Utah. And I've been there a couple times. And it's a, it's a really great place and, and you know, really, it, it's it's like, I would describe it as Grand Canyon, but more interesting. And no offense to the people that like Grand Canyon, but you know, have you seen Bryce Canyon? <laughs> so I, I use Tombow markers as, uh, as well. I use the paint for the background here and I use Pablo's again. So it's kind of the same combination. I think this is just a really good combination for this coloring book. And at least the UK copy. I have the US copy that was sent to me by the publisher, so I'm going to do another review of that on Friday the... what is it? The 5th? 6th? I think it's the 6th. Friday the 6th. So I'm going to do a review and, and compare both of them, but, um, but yeah, this was a gift, so this is a UK copy, and I have an American copy, so that's fun. But, um, but yeah, so I think that's, that's about it. Yeah. So that's all I got. Uh, I got done in February. I have a couple of works in progress that I didn't actually get finished, but you know that's that's kind of how it goes. And I wasn't too stressed about it. I was kind of amazed that I got seven things done in a month where I was also packing to move. So I was 
pretty impressed with myself, I guess. But I want to thank you all for watching. Uh, stay tuned and you'll see the, you know, photographs of stuff. Like I said, if I sound weird, you know why. It's a new, it's a new room and everything. And it's still a little bit of a work in progress. So I hope that it was okay. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. If you didn't, give us a thumbs down. And I will see you on the next video. So goodbye, everybody.